Hey guys, Ellie here. I just wanted to wish y'all a very Merry Christmas. It's about, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Nate, for that. I'm just hanging out with the goats right now, just chilling on a beautiful night. Um, they're trying to stay warm in the hay. And this is this right here. That's gonna be a problem, I feel like. I feel like that's gonna be a problem right there. Also, this Golden Girls version of Twisted Night Before Christmas is pretty cool. Um, I think someone sent it to us, and um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and read through it real fast. And so, without further ado, let's get right to it. Blanche, Dorothy, Rose, and Sophia are getting ready to have a house full of family for Christmas. But when a hurricane blows into town, and we're not speaking of Blanche here, it looks like the season won't be very jolly. And on top of that, Stan suddenly appears and asks Dorothy if she can spare any cash. Could things get any worse? Maybe, maybe not. But what these four faithful friends realize, as they always do, is that all they really need, including cheesecake, is right there on Richmond Street. Twas the night before Christmas, and on Richmond Street, three girls decked the halls, and they made each room neat. Their children and siblings were soon to be there. Ma finished her famous lasagna with care. But a storm was a coming, a hurricane nigh. The planes heading in were unable to fly. Outside the wind howled, a tree snapped a branch. Rose looked up in alarm. Holy cow, where is Blanche? While Ma in her sweatshirt and Dorothy in a vest had just settled down for a much needed rest. Rose, snug with her teddy bear, laid down her head while visions of St. Olaf danced in her head. All at once, through the rain came a curious sight, a round silhouette in the full moon's pale light. And from the porch came the voice of a man. The girls winced as they heard him say, Hi, it's me, Stan. <laughs> That's funny. He was dressed up like Santa, but ragged and droopy. He'd lost all his money on fake reindeer poopy. His tale of woe. Chill, Ringo. Dang, dude. His tale of woe made dear Rose start to cry, while Dorothy grimaced and gave the side eye. After years spent with Stanley, she knew in a flash the only holiday gift that he wanted was cash. Sophia cut in with a long-winded story. Picture it, Sicily, the year 1940. Something about a goat, linguini and theft, whatever it meant it worked, stand quickly left. A moment later, Blanche whirled through the front door. She was wet, she was cold, she was dressed like a uh, elf? Rose explained that their family simply couldn't get there. It's just rain, Blanche lamented. How rude, I declare. So into the kitchen, the four girls paraded. Feeling down and depressed, the fridge was quickly raided. There were cookies and ice cream, hot cocoa to make, a salami or two, and three types of cheesecake. For hours, the girls talked and they laughed and they shared. It's likely a few flashback episodes aired. Then suddenly, like a true holiday spell, the girls realized they were all family as well. You could hear them exclaim as the day came to an end, Merry Christmas and thank you for being a friend. And that's how it ends, guys. We hope you all have a very, very Merry Christmas. I know I was a little bit late on this because it's called Twas the, the Night Before Christmas and it's already technically Christmas right now, but either way, uh, we love y'all. We hope y'all have an amazing day. I hope we can all remember the reason we celebrate this holiday and we can just bring joy and positivity for everyone in this world, the humans and animals and everything else out there. Heck, even living and non-living, why not bring good to the non-living either? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's silly, but um, with that said, hope y'all enjoyed. Be sure to let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you want to see. Hope you have a great day. And as I always say, your boy Elliot.